Hi, happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel. My name's Lori, also known as Sign Moon. This is going to be a general weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. It'll be for 11.6 through 11.12. For the sign of Scorpio, let's go ahead and get to our reading. We will look at the immediate past, the current situation, and the immediate future. All right. We will also get some clarification at the end and message from the universe. I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. With this deck, Tarot of the Spirit World, there are no reversals. It's very similar to the Rider Weight. It is based on it, but there are some differences when it comes to the minor arcana, not the major. The majors are a bit different as well, but it is a great deck and I love using it. It goes more into our fears with our emotions and our demons. But let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate past. You started off on a new journey or a new business venture, but you've been struggling, fighting yourself and you know, not really coming down to earth enough. You've been looking to that spiritual realm, wondering if things are really real. And you need to bring it back down to earth and to stop fighting with yourself and to realize the knowledge and the experiences that you're going through are very real. And you just need to lift your head up currently also within the current situation because the sun is there just trying to bring you all those blessings. If you would just please, from all your hard work and all your toiling, just look beyond the mirages and the illusions and see that the sun is right there just shining at you, asking, begging you to stand up and just claim all that's yours and look beyond those illusions that are in front of you. You are constantly within yourself, both day and night, in your waking hours and your sleeping hours. You're always aware of your commitment and your responsibilities and to keep those thoughts true but you have to understand that you truly are acting in accordance with the true and most purest form of love and the high priestess that lives within you that lives within all of us male and female alike and when you're looking to the earth and and to the moon for that guidance and to our father above the mother below when you're truly striving to be that divine god or goddess within you you are acting in that true and cord, and it's time to let go of the illusions and realize that everything is going to be okay. You just need to continue on, you know, in the future, diligently doing your work, not paying too much to the surroundings that go on, but just enough to know that you need to keep your mind on the prize as your ultimate goal going from this 3D into the 5D, and that you need to also stay grounded, okay? We know that you have a love for your endeavors and, you know, for life and for the divine. But you also need to stay grounded because if you stay within the ethereal space too long, you can accumulate too much energy and you need to find a way to dispel that. And generally people do it through grounding. If you don't know how to ground, reach out. I will give you some information on it because you have a beautiful life coming to you and... The universe truly wants to bless you in all areas. They truly love you. And they want you to truly love and enjoy what it is that you're doing. And they are truly learning to understand who you are as you are learning who you are within this life, within this world. And as you continue to express yourself to the divine and to those around you and you accept that love that's coming in and you continue to ground yourself, you will truly start to understand how much you are truly loved and how much, you know, everything truly begins to work for those who love the divine. The overall energy for the reading, for this reading, is the King of Swords. And, you know, just remember with the King of Swords, you are in control. You have done a lot of work, but the one thing that you have to remember as you, as you strive to be better, as you strive to move yourself up, that sometimes when you're acting as the king, you can also feel lonely, all right? You have to remember that you also have to allow some love into your life and to stay connected and to know that to rule with kindness is important because 
You don't want to rule with meanness or hatred. No one's coming to claim your power. You are the king, as you will, right? King, queen, this is the king, so man or female alike. You are the king within your own world, and nobody is coming to take that. Just stay connected to the spirit and continue to keep going forward. And just be careful with the negative talk that you're hearing up here. Please understand everything is coming through from the spirit for you. You just have to stay grounded. You need to ground yourself some more. Let's go ahead and get you a moon card. Yeah, you're doing great. You just have to raise your head up a little bit to realize there are people in your life surrounding you, loving you, that need you. All right? They're there for you. You just have to let them in a little bit. Raise your head up and look beyond, okay? Be diligent in your work, but remember you need to pay attention to your surroundings as well. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and just keep learning what it is that you love. Find out what it is that loves about you. Find out what you love about it. It's a glorious thing to wake up and find the spiritual world. And there's a definite win-win outcome in your forecast. There is. It's going to be a great time. Just remember to continue to meditate and contemplate on all things so that you get those good answers, the right answers, the true answers. All right, let's go ahead and get a message from the universe, from the starseed deck. See what they might have to say today. Free spirit. To be free is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. And we do need to love without conditions. You do. When you learn to love yourself and the universe without conditions, and you accept the good and the bad and all things, and you work with it, and you transmute the negative energy into positive, and you propel yourself forward as you live for the divine, and you keep doing that inner work, you'll see to truly be a free spirit is to know that you are love, and to just go forth with true love and kindness and forgiveness in your life is a glorious thing. Let's go ahead and get one more card. Wisdom. Say, see your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. Boy, that's a mouthful, huh? Not so easy either, is it? To look at your adversaries as um, opportunities to expand your spiritual light. What it really means is when you're confronted with something that shakes your foundation, or you're like, whoa, hold on, wait a minute, what the fuck is that? They're telling you to go ahead and look at it and find a way to to view it in a different way or to grow and understand it and allow your light to shine within it a little bit more, you know, um, to look past the situation of the immediate environment or the immediate energies and work with them to transform them, so to speak, and do so with love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Exactly what I'm talking about. Share it. And when you see that negative Take that negative, work with it, transmute it into something beautiful, right? Truly, divinely beautiful. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great week. I wish you the very best in life. I truly do. Bright blessings to you always and namaste.